Hello everyone, my name is Pepsilk, and on uh, today's video, I'm going to be trying something a bit different today. Um, usually I'm known for like reviews and should you plays and like just like all like analysis videos, but I want to try and make some different content on the channel. Um, one of them is Battlebit, which I'll have a video up uh, later today or like some, some point today. Um, and another one is going to be this one, which is just going to be me like covering uh, gaming news or, rep or reporting on anything that I find interesting. Uh, this is something new for me so let me know if there's anything that i should change about how i talk or like my opinions and just any sort of feedback would go a long way to make these videos a bit better i just wanted to kind of clear that up before i give us a start and um yeah leave a like if you enjoyed for today's video i'm going to be talking about overwatch 2 pve what bro what are you talking about man now for those that aren't aware um about a month ago uh, Aaron Keller, the lead director of Overwatch 2, decided to say on the Play Overwatch stream that they're going to be scrapping the hero mode for PvE. Now, what is hero mode? Hero mode for Overwatch 2 is the game mode or the PvE game mode that Overwatch 2 was heavily advertised as. So, um, for all the years that it's been in development for, for I think about three and a half or four, four years, they announced it back in, I think, 2017, 2018. Um, that they will be working on a new Overwatch game. And all the gameplay that they showed over the years prior to Overwatch 2 being released was all from the PvE experience, which um, Hero Mode in a nutshell was pretty much what you'd expect from like a PvE, uh, like um, I guess RPG experience like you would in like Destiny. But there was like talent trees, progression system, and a progression system where you would be um, essentially leveling up your characters and earning new talents, right? So you get talents um you make a character stronger and you go through all these like missions throughout the world right and that was meant to be the the main game of overwatch 2 and to hype players up they decided to release overwatch 2 early so they released it early but the pvp version of it because you know they they had a lot of like key developers from overwatch 1 and since they they knew how to make a pvp experience already off the rip thanks to the success of overwatch 1 they decided to capitalize and make pvp um, as a means of not only promoting the game, but also just getting people hyped for the PvE experience. Uh, fast forward to now, uh, June and May last month, they decided to remove that game mode completely. Three and a half years, just down the drain, gone, all in one sentence. We have decided to remove the game mode entirely. Um, I watched a Twitch clip again today to just reminisce on how sad it was and reading through the Twitch chat of that clip and... Man, it's just, it's just shame. It's a shame. You know, Overwatch 2 was all, was meant to be about the PV. Like the PV experience was meant to be what carried this game over. Um, and for it to just be gone, just like, just like that, like it pissed a lot of people off. It pissed me off. Because Overwatch 2, like PVP, I love Overwatch 2 PVP. Don't get me wrong. And I think, I think the PVP is like, is, is fun um, when it, when it works and, you know like when just when it's like it, it can be fun when you're playing with friends or solo queuing or whatever it may be but reality is overwatch 2 was supposed to be pv pve oriented it wasn't supposed to be pvp pvp was meant to be released after pv got released but due to how long it's taking or how long it took them uh to develop all the pve stuff they wanted to release pvp first um so yeah that that all happened um, Aaron Keller decided to gaslight the following day by issuing an apology and reflecting on the cancellation of the hero mode, but don't listen to anything he says. I think it's all bullshit. Um, that, 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 that take is just a joke. Um, I may come back to that in a moment, but let's fast forward to right now. Um, a few weeks ago, Overwatch 2 decided to be, well, Blizzard decided to be even more ballsy and sh further shame this franchise. By adding you guessed it paid uh paid story missions into the game that's right paid story missions um in the in in the in the overwatch blog post uh in overwatch 2 invasion you and your friends can take on three action-packed missions that take place in rio de janeiro Toronto, and gothenburg massive maps with complex objectives and an in-depth storyline that will guide you along the way i won't go into the rest of it but this is the main part right here you can get started on your mission to save the world with the Overwatch 2 Invasion Bundle for $15 USD. 
This bundle includes access to the Overwatch 2 story missions. They even highlighted it themselves. I'm not doing it. They highlighted it themselves on the page. So um, I think that's like they're trying to give further emphasis on, you know, you got to pay for the missions in order to play them. A thousand Overwatch coins, so that links to the battle pass, it's giving you enough for the battle pass, which um, this is when you pay for this, you actually don't get the battle pass with it as well. They just give you equivalent to the battle pass. So if you wanted to, like if people pay for the battle pass, were to pay for the battle pass separately and then pay for the bundle on top of that you're basically i mean either way you're basically spending extra money buying another battle pass just with a few like missions a brand new sojourn legendary skin which i don't think anyone gives a shit let's be honest like yet yeah, it's worth 19 dollars, but like your skins are already overpriced enough anyways the monetization in this game is a joke so what's the point Permanent access to Sojourn as a playable hero for new players. Unlocked upon completing story mission challenges. So usually when a season is over with Overwatch 2, um, you have to complete like a set of challenges, I think, in order to unlock um, characters. Uh, for anyone that plays Overwatch 2, please let me know if this is still it, because I haven't played Overwatch 2 in a while um, since season 2. So I'd like to know if, if that has been effectively changed or it's just still the same to unlock ca uh, season characters. And they, they even have an ultimate invasion bundle, which gives you the battle pass of that season with 20 battle pass skips, an additional 1,000 coins, and two legendary skins for Cassidy Kiriko. Like, get fucked. Seriously. I just think that, like, they just, they just seem to find... Blizzard seems to find more and more ways to milk this game. And I feel bad for the younger audience or the younger people that, you know, will, will actually fall for this stuff and say, yeah, I'm going to spend money just so I can get access to, who knows, like an hour to two hours, if I had to guess, of story mission. Like, yeah, they'll be replayable, but like, what's the point? You're going to play them for like an hour, or you're going to play them for a little bit, or maybe a day or two. You're going to get so bored of it, and you're not going to bother playing it ever again. If the, he now, if the hero mode um, existed, if the hero mode existed right now, and those missions were in there, then people would probably play them more often, 100%. I think Hero Mode would obviously have to be expanded upon with like even with more than just three missions. They wouldn't release Hero Mode, would you? But like, it's just it's just a damn shame that they just had to uh, that on top of canceling your main game mode, you're you're asking players to charge people for this kind of shit, and it's just it's ridiculous. I just think it's unfair to those who. Who, who love overwatch and even after getting destroyed by hero mode they're getting destroyed even more by being forced to get to pay for content and this is on top of the poor monetization or business model that they have in this game like it's like 30 dollars us or 25 us for a free for one legendary skin and there's no like kind of there's no loot boxes now i'm gonna this may be a hot take but i'm gonna say this right now I think loot boxes in Overwatch 2 should be a thing. Make them a thing. As much as they were bad in Overwatch 1 and they promoted gambling, granted, I think they should add them in Overwatch 2 as a means of giving players rewards and things to earn instead of just only going for the battle pass. Like, as far as I know, the battle pass is the only means of progression in Overwatch 2, excluding, like, you know, your own player skill and, like, progressing and improving as a player. Like, pure progression... The battle pass is the only thing that exists nothing there's nothing else that makes you want to play overwatch 2 except for just the battle pass in terms of progression because everything all the skins that you may want in the store you either get them with legacy tokens or credits which you only got from which you can only get from overwatch one if you play at overwatch one or you just have to go through a just for you store hoping that the skin that you want is in there and then you buy it with real money like those are the only like ways to get skins in the game and it's just like like, new players are going to enjoy Overwatch 2 for a bit, and then they're just going to bounce. Like, there's just nothing to progress or earn aside from working through a battle pass that you want to get the best out of it. You have to spend money. Wizard has always been about money, 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 money with all these games recently. You know? I don't want to give them too much slack to... But actually, no, I will give them slack. I take that back. You know, I was going to give them benefit of the doubt with Diablo 4, but that's a whole nother video. Diablo 4 is a great game in its own right with its own problems that they can easily fix. But we're talking, we're not talking about that team. We're talking about Team 4 Overwatch. That's what we're talking about. So, you know, I saw the responses on Twitter and it just, it wasn't good across the board. Like a lot of people 
someone said in one of the tweets uh, from the old tweet of the dev chat um, with PV, with them announcing that PV will be scrapped. Uh, sorry, so not that. Uh, the Overwatch Calvary tweet saying, bro, I thought I paid for this with my watch point pack. And I'm just like, I, for those that don't know, I don't know if the Overwatch pack still, what the watch point pack still exists. Um, but the watch point pack was a pack that released with Overwatch 2 last year when it first launched. Um, basically, it includes a bunch of legendary skins from the Overwatch Legendary Edition, um, and it also includes it also included the Battle Pass, uh, two unique legendary skins that haven't been seen before, uh, two thousand Overwatch 2 virtual currency, which is equivalent to two Battle Passes, and an exclusive play icon. Now, even though this had nothing to do with um, PVE, it was meant to it, it, it kind of it was meant to help fund. Uh, PVE, so that way PVE can come out in a in a way better state. You know, you know, it gives the developers you know more passion and motivation to continuously work on uh, the hero mode. So, like that's 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 what the Watchpoint pack is. And honestly, if people bought the Watchpoint pack just for them to spend even more money on buying content, I mean, come on, man, seriously, that's that is just that's not right at all. Another post was from Forbes. And they 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 said that the missions were were playing for about thirty to forty five minutes. So when you look when you take that into account, with three missions, that's about an hour and a half to almost like two hours of content with with the missions. And you just you just gotta wonder: is it worth spending fifteen dollars for a few missions and some currency? I I just don't understand why why Blizzard monetizes the hell out of this game like they are slowly killing they're milking but they're also killing this franchise i don't think they realize how much they're killing overwatch right now i saw i saw a friend um that was streaming um a month ago when the whole pv uh debacle happened and when i told him and i was talking about it with him and he was like i guess i guess it's okay i mean i mean we're still getting pve but i just don't think that's a valid response like if you're saying, I mean, I guess we're still getting PvE, you're, you're saying that it's okay for Blizzard to scrap an entire game mode that Overwatch 2 was built on and be like, yeah, okay, I'll deal with whatever the game gives us. Like, people giving those responses is probably, probably, Blizzard probably sees that and just says, okay, let's go get some, let's, let's go make some missions and charge even more money so we can just milk the hell out of cost. Like, I, I just, I just think that this franchise is slowly falling apart because it hurts me, even though I haven't played Overwatch 2 in a while. Like, I'm a big fan of Overwatch, and Overwatch is my most beloved Blizzard franchise. It's the first franchise I got into um, with Blizzard games, because I, I never had a PC, so I could never play StarCraft. I could never play WoW. Uh, Hearthstone, I could have, but just didn't. It wasn't a fan of uh, card battlers. O and Overwatch was the only game on console that was actually, like, really good on... And and a game that all of my friends played of and I've played the hell out of. And for and for it to just go from Overwatch 1 being so beloved to just becoming a massive money fest and, and just milking customers, it's a damn shame, you know, because Overwatch 2 was something I was really looking forward to. After the hero mode cancellation, I, I just didn't want to be associated with that game. But to be fair, I hadn't played Overwatch 2 prior to that, so I'm kinda glad. But it sucks, you know. I'm hoping that Blizzard will somehow turn around, but hope is a pretty strong word, and I don't really want to use that in this case because I don't see Blizzard turning this franchise around unless they decide to bring the hero mode back, which I highly doubt they will. They clearly stated it in the blog, in in, in the in the Twitch stream, and I won't bother like going on about that because what's the point? Um, or they just decide to make everything free. Like your game is free to play. You may as well make everything else in the game free and just reduce the monetization a bit or give players more rewards or stuff to go for that just that isn't just the premium battle pass. I don't think they realize how many people have quit the game. Like I know we don't see player counts, but I can tell you right now, a lot of really good players or just more than average players have probably quit. And the way I see it, there are two demographics to the audience in this game. The people that love the lore and story of Overwatch because Blizzard has always been incredibly well known for their uh, for their lore in all of their games. The kudos to them and also just being able to play, you know, just wanting to play the game and hear the voice lines and all that kind of stuff. 
That's one demographic. Or the other demographic being all the sweat lords that put 12 hours into the game a day, play competitive, or just like, you know, go hard in quick play or whatever the heck they want to do. Um, so that's, 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 those are the two demographics, but it's just a shame. And I just don't, I, I feel like Overwatch 2 is only going to get progressively. So yeah, that, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I really want to try and do more of these reporting videos and just kind of like rant or talk about situations gaming. Cause I'm always, I'm always like talking about things either to myself or to, to my friends and I'd like to get more of these opinions out on the internet and let people know on what I think about situations. So, yeah. And as always, I'll have more coming to you soon. Peace.